Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Did you recently acquire the Panda Compact Washing Machine and you're curious about how it all hooks together? Well, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to hook it up. The Panda comes with two hoses. The shorter hose, which is about 43 inches long, is the water hose. So you simply take the one end is bigger than the other. You take the smaller end and you simply place it on the wash basin side of your machine. Then the drain hose is the longer one and it's already installed for the bottom and you can see you put this clip over here if it's not already on there and then it's sturdy and hooked so that that's the part that goes over the drain. Let me show you. Take the larger end of the water intake hose and you simply slip it over the end of your faucet. Push it on there securely and keep your eye on it when it's filling. Then you take the hook end of your drain and you simply stick it down into the drain. And the hook part will anchor it so that it won't come out. Then you'd simply turn on the water and your panda will fill from the hose that's hooked to your sink. Then you take the cord from the back and you plug it in to your nearest outlet. The electrical cord is six feet long. So it gives you a little more room than the hoses. This one is 43 inches long and the drain hose is 54 inches long. Now that I have both hoses and the cord, I'm going to hold on to this to make sure that it stays secure and then I can turn on the water and my machine is filling. So whether I want hot water or cold water, it's up to me. And you can see the machine is filling from the hose. The water is pouring in there. I can get as much or as little as I want. See where this hole is? You want to keep it down below that hole. So you can see, we've used it so many times, there's kind of a ring around here. So keep it an inch or two below that, and then when it agitates, it won't splash around and splash over the hole. No. Now that it has water in it, I can close the lid, turn it to wash, and then turn it to how many minutes I want. And you can see the agitator goes around. The uh, agitator is in the bottom and it'll spin one way and then it'll stop and it'll spin the other way. So see if you had very delicate things. It is quite uh, vigorous, so delicate things I always wash in one of those little baskets. Then when I would be finished with that, I would open the clothes, or the spinner, put the clothes in here, put this on top, this extra thing would go on top of the clothes, then you would close both lids, and then you would turn it to uh, spin. This to drain, and I'm going to turn on the spinner. See, and that's what's nice. This turns off when you're not, uh, when the lid is open, so you can't hurt yourself. You can see it's going, and I open the lid, and it stops. So it has a safety feature, which is nice. Then when I'm ready to drain my entire tub, I will turn this to drain. And then the water simply goes out through the other hose into the drain. You can see it's going down. It's pumping out this hose and it's held securely by the U thing into the drain. So it's very, very simple. The water goes out and like I said, any water that's in the spinning site goes out the same exact drain hose. It's done draining, so I simply turn this 
to the middle position, which turns it off. It's not on wash or drain, it's on off. It doesn't say off, but that's what the middle position means. Before I rinse it, I want to make sure lint's not a problem. So I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe it out because if you have extra dirt or cat hair or lint or anything like that, your paper towel is going to pick it up and then you can just throw it away. Now I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to rinse them. Be sure when you're washing it, you put it on wash. When you have draining it, it's on drain. And then when you're not doing either one, put it in the middle so that it can't start up uh, without you being ready. When you're done washing and rinsing and spinning, remove your hose from off of the faucet. I just sort of loop it over and put it down into the bin. If there's any little extra bits of water, it'll evaporate. Then I take the drain hose, has this little clip, and it clips right onto the side of the machine. When you're done, take the clip on the drain hose, hang it on the little side of the machine, coil up the hose, and hook it with the Velcro to keep it out of the way. Unplug your panda and you simply wind the cord around these brackets on the back. It only weighs 28 pounds. It has two little handles on the side. Pick it up and move it wherever you're going to store it. If you're interested in the Panda Compact Washer, know that we've used it for over a year. It's still just like new and performs like nobody's business. So for $200, this is the way to go if you don't want to trek and drag your things to the laundry room laundromat. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.